Alright you guys, so it's product empties time. I've done this I think twice before. And um, there isn't a whole lot in here. But there's a lot of talking to do, so I will just skip all the blabber and get right into it. So, first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and grab whatever I grab in here. So, I grabbed two of these little, um, I guess, sample size things. I got these actually back in January of this year in a little box of things. Um, I think one day where I spent such and such amount of money... I got this little kit of like things to try or whatever. So the first thing is the Biotherm BioSales Lash Optimizer Eye Makeup Removal Care, a lash conditioner um, that is for waterproof makeup. Um, really didn't like this stuff only because it's extremely oily and I have to do something else underneath. Plus I found that my Bioderma worked a lot better than it and it didn't leave a gross residue. So I'm not going to purchase this because I don't like it. Um, Biotherm Biosource Instant Hydrating Toning Lotion. Now this is for normal to combination skin, which I don't have, so that could be the reason why I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, it's a little bit drying on the skin. Plus, um, I use my Michael Todd Blue Green Algae yeah, um, toner, and I like that a lot better. Um, it's a little bit more moisturizing on the skin, doesn't really strip it quite as much as that stuff does. Not to say that it wouldn't... It would do that if you have like a combo skin like it's for, but for me it's just a little bit too much. Um, next I have a deodorant. Um, this is just the Secret Clinical Strength Light and Fresh deodorant that I use on occasion. Uh, next is the Color Stay by Revlon um, makeup that I ran out of. I already purchased a new one because I absolutely love this stuff. This is more of my full, fuller coverage. Um, stuff that I use, I use number 150 buff. Um, then it kind of gets a little bit interesting because I'm going to pull out two products that I purchased and I actually didn't finish, but I just am not going to finish them. Um, the first is this Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Acid Eye Cream. Uh, I just, I had such high hopes for it because I love Mario Badescu in general. Um, the cleansers are awesome, the drying lotion is awesome, but this stuff. And I didn't even use hardly any of it. I think I used it for about a month and a half. And after that, I was kind of just like, you know what? My skin isn't loving this as much as I wanted it to. It almost broke me out underneath my eye. kind of gave me like a little bit of milia, which I was like not a fan of. Um, and it just it didn't do everything that I wanted it to. And then I read the ingredients. And... Um, Hyaluronic acid is the very last ingredient, so there's probably absolutely nothing in there anyways. So I was kind of disappointed. I bought it off of um, Holt Look, and I got it for pretty cheap, so I wasn't like super like butthurt about it, but I just it didn't impress me. I wasn't happy with it, so I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to get one that I actually do like, and now I'm using my Cora's um, Even Primrose Eye Cream, and I love that stuff. So that one's gone. I couldn't even finish it. Like, it was just breaking me out underneath my eyes and I was like that doesn't look cute at all. Um, the next thing is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream skin protectant. Now I bought this because it was all the craze and everybody was like oh my god this is the most amazing like multi-use kind of product and to be honest again I literally didn't even use more than the cap. It's pretty much full. Like it is full. I only I literally only use what was ever on top of here and I I stopped using it for a couple of reasons. Um, number one being that the first ingredient is petrolatum, which is not good for your skin at all. And I didn't want to be using a product that had petrolatum in it on areas of my face, my lips, my anywhere. You know what I mean? I kind of just... And I'm really bad at this because I always... I'm a big ingredient list reader. But for some reason, I'm so bad at doing it in store. I will say, oh my god, that looks amazing, so I'll buy it. And then I'll get home and read the ingredient list, and I'm like, shit, it has like all this crap in it that I don't want to use. So that's what happened with this stuff, and I used it a couple of times because I'm like, you know what, maybe if I only use it on my hands or whatever. But it just, it didn't live up to the expectations, and I couldn't get over the fact that it had that ingredient in there. So, especially the very first one. So I just said, I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to feel good about giving it to somebody to use because it just isn't the best thing out there. I don't care how good it works. There's a bit of a line that I don't cross and if it's not amazing, 
and it's kind of crappy for you, I'm not going to use it. So, enough of the, the mean stuff. I believe the rest of this stuff is all things that I have repurchased or will repurchase. So, what do I have here? Yes, um, this is my poor little Benefit um, Instant Brow in light that I cannot sharpen anymore. There's a little bit of a nub at the end of there, but my sharpener literally won't take anymore. Um, I've already purchased another one. I'm already using it, and I love this stuff. It's my favorite brow um, tool. Then here I have the Moroccan Oil Weightless Hydrating Mask, which I actually think I've already mentioned before, and um, I haven't purchased it yet because I have a lot of other masks that I bought that were cheaper that I want to use up before I buy this again, even though this stuff is so amazing. And even opening it up again, it still smells like the actual product and I think the smell itself is like reason enough for me to purchase it again because it's amazing. Amazing. If you haven't tried it, try it. Next things are some mascaras, of course my lovely combo that I have been using forever. Um, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Power 24 Hour Black Smoke that is dried out and yucky now but I have already purchased a new one I'm already using it. Yeah, see it's just, it's just gross. Um, so that one's gone. Bye bye. And then the Maybelline the Fossies, which is also hey, kind of dried out. I've actually already purchased like two because um, they were on like super cheap, so I picked up a couple of them. Um, again, I already have replaced both of them because I love them so much. I love them so much. And lastly is my Bioderma. There's that little a bit, and that's what I hate about this bottle is you can't, you literally can't open it. I've tried. Um, but there's a little teensy tiny bit left and I can't get it out um, and that's with pretty much every every uh, bottle of this stuff but tried and true amazing cleanser makeup remover um, just all over like skin soother um, I recommend this to people all the time it's won awards for a reason and um, if you have even like this sense most sensitive skin this stuff works amazing so I've already purchased, uh, I have one that I'm using already. I do have to buy another one because once that one is done, then my like four month supply that I picked up forever ago is gone. So that stuff is amazing and I will probably always, always, always buy more of it. So yeah, that is that. I'm going to go ahead and leave now before I start going crazy. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a lovely day and toodaloo. Bye!